Hello all, welcome to the Spiral Bible Channel. This is the third time I've tried this video because my cat's either scratching at the door or I let him in and he starts tearing around. So let's try this again. <laughs> so here I'm in my New Testament Spiral Bible and on this page uh, I wrote the names of Jesus and then referenced the different verses where it uses uh, those different names. There are times when I'm reading things such as the parables and I don't fully understand them. So I will just uh, go out and search, you know, a commentary on that chapter. And then that gives me further insight uh, into the parable and understanding. I'll also look for different uh, translations of words. Uh, like prayer, believe, Hosanna, uh, and then other references uh, to prayer or whatever this chapter is trying to say as well, along with some context and uh, commentary. Here's another place where it was a parable, and uh, again, I did uh, uh, further research and understanding uh, what is, you know, the seed. The seed is referring to the Word of God. What does the thorny ground mean? What does the stony ground mean? Um, and this is uh, just like the other parable that I just showed on the other page, but in the book of Luke. Uh, this is the story about the Good Samaritan and what we're supposed to learn from that. Also, the Lord's Prayer is also in the book of uh, Luke and talks about praying frequently. On um, this particular verse, uh, I did write another verse that references about standing firm and I did a research on the word as far as standing firm and in your foundation, being steadfast and upright. On this page, I took all of these different verses, uh, then did some color referencing here. And I chose to write in uh, the Living Bible translation in each of these. Here's another one where I did further research of what uh, a word meant. And this particular one, verily, verily. And the translation is, I assure you or I tell you the truth. And it's referenced here, there, and there, and there. Uh, and then I also did some further uh, on this particular verse that we all know and love, John 3, 16 and 17. I love just being so creative. It's, it's part of my therapy along with reading the scripture. And I go out and find all these beautiful, these are particular, uh, these are printables. And uh, then I also wanted to know what did Paul mean by the fruit of the Spirit? So again, I went out and researched and found this commentary. This is where I did some very simple verse mapping as to who wrote this book. I did a different translation. Actually, I did one, two, yeah, three translations here and then did further research as far as de definitions of the word and synonyms of the word. And on this page, I love to listen to gospel music, Christian music, and this song, In Christ Alone, by Adrian Camp, referenced this verse in 1 Timothy 4, so I wrote down some of the lyrics uh, there. 
And then in my other spiral Bible, the Old Testament, they have broken down into several books. And so this one is the prophets, Isaiah through Malachi. And on this page, I did sermon notes. And the sermon happens to be over reasons to pray. And so the pastor had several points there as to why we should pray. And also that God is the source of all of our needs. And so that's why we should pray. He also referenced this particular verse in Isaiah that our prayer honors God. And when we humble ourselves in prayer before the sovereign ruler of heaven and earth, we honor him by acknowledging that he controls everything. All right, good people, I hope you like this video and will give it a thumbs up. Become a subscriber of the Spiral Bible channel if you haven't already. Just hit the uh, subscribe button. Those of you that do subscribe, we appreciate you. I hope you'll come back and check us out for, for some more Spiral Bibling. If that's a word, we, may, we should make it a word. Later, bye-bye.